Hey guys, today we're going to learn about frogs. Ah! Welcome to Ryan's world. Hey guys, Heck was just about to tell me and Alpha Alexa some funny new jokes he learned. Oh gosh, now I'm getting all nervous. It's okay, Peck. I'm sure you've got great jokes. Okay, here goes. What's black and white and red all over? Uh, a newspaper? No, a sunburnt penguin. Oh gosh, I can hear the crickets. I'm bombing. I'll never make it as a stand-up comedian. No, wait, listen. It's all types of bugs. I always wondered how bugs make the sounds they do. Me too. Come to think of it, there's a lot I don't know about bugs. Well, I know a lot about bugs. Really? Can you teach us? Of course. And maybe I'll come up with some new material from our comedy routine along the way. To answer your question, Ryan, crickets chirp by moving their wings against each other. Wow, I wish my legs made music. Pretty neat, huh? And did you know, cricket chirps can be used to tell the temperature? No way! It's true. You see, the hotter it is outside, the faster the crickets chirp. Oh, sounds like cool weather. You know what other bugs always remind me of warm weather? Fireflies! Fireflies are fascinating insects. Have you ever noticed how groups of fireflies will sometimes flash together? Really? What's that? They do it so the girls can easily recognize the boys in their own species. Wow! Pretty and practical. Precisely. Say, that reminds me. What did the firefly use to study for his big test? What? Flash cards! <laughs> Does anybody get those crickets out of here? It sounds like bugs are pretty smart if they know how to do all that. Some bugs are very smart indeed. For instance, did you know bees have actually been shown to recognize and remember human faces? Really? Yes. Since bees are very good at remembering the shapes and patterns of flowers, scientists wondered if they would also be able to remember human faces. Scientists must have a lot of free time. They tested this theory by pinning up pictures of different faces, then rewarding bees who approached a certain face with a sugar solution. Even after the scientists took away the reward, the bees still sought out the same face, meaning they remembered it. Wow, I'm jealous. I'm terrible with faces. Isn't that right, Gus? Pick! Oh, right. Sorry. Anyway, bees have been known to do simple addition and subtraction. Wow! Maybe I should get a bee to tutor me for my next math test. They'd probably be pretty good at it, too. You might even get a bee. Oh, don't you crickets have somewhere better to chirp? To figure all this out, bugs must have been around for quite a while, huh? That's correct. Bugs have lived on Earth for over 350 million years. That's over 1,000 times longer than humans have existed. Some insects even existed before the dinosaurs. About 250 million years ago, there was a primitive version of a dragonfly called a griffinfly that had a wingspan of two and a half feet. Yikes! Bug spray wouldn't be enough to keep that guy away. Well, I'll say the griffin fly was the largest insect ever to have existed. The biggest bug of all the bugs. That's saying something, because there are a lot of bugs, especially when I have a picnic. You're right, Alpha. Scientists have estimated that there are approximately 10 quintillion bugs living on planet Earth at any given time. No wonder they always invade my picnics. I'm outnumbered. Indubitably, insects exist on every continent, even Antarctica. There's a wingless midge that lives down there called Belgica Antarctica. How is that possible? 
Do Belgica colonies have central heating? <laughs> Not quite. The Belgica Antarctica actually spends about nine months of the year frozen solid. Which reminds me, did you hear about the Belgica Antarctica that got nervous before his wedding? No. Yeah, he got cold feet. <laughs> hey, the crickets must have liked that one. Oh. Did I just get booed by crickets? Don't mind them. Bugs have terrible taste. I've heard that mosquitoes are even attracted to smelly feet. That's right, Alpha. Did you know that butterflies and flies actually taste with their feet? I wouldn't want something to taste with his feet to judge my comedic ability. That's the spirit? I'm not gonna let those crickets get me down. I'm gonna finish my stand-up act for you and Ryan. You go, penguin! Wow, I learned a lot of fun insect facts today. Thank you, Peck and Alpha Alexa. And Peck, did you have one last insect joke you want to tell me? No. I changed my mind. Aw, are you sure? Yeah. I wouldn't want to bug you. <laughs> That's so funny, Peck. Gosh, maybe I have it in me to be a stand-up comedian after all. You sure do, Peck. Okay, guys, remember, always stay happy and rise up. Thank you for watching. Bye.